Today we're at SoFi Stadium for Taylor Swift's last show of her U.S. tour. Dorothy House paid for us to be here and we were going to figure out why Taylor Swift is so special, so popular, and what makes her brand so unique. We're going to be asking them questions, interviewing them, so let's get Swifty. Alright, we're about to go ask some people some hard-hitting questions. Just your top three favorite songs of hers. Doesn't have to be in order. Fearless, Dear John, Dress is Good. Yeah. Dress is that's her favorite. <laughs> that's her favorite, of course. Over here, we got a guy who created something from the show. Only You'd only know about this if you've seen the show. Klaus, take a look at that thing over there. Look at that. <laughs> so you made this? Yeah. My friend Nadine came all the way from Virginia to help me get ready for it. Oh my God. Okay. So yeah, we made this last night and yeah, we just finished a couple hours ago. So what are you going to do with it during the concert, though? Because I don't think they're going to let you bring that in. Yeah, I think if people sat behind him, they'd probably be upset. <laughs> Can you tell us about what's on your shirt here, on your dress? Absolutely. So this is my son, Damien. He is four years old, and he's fighting a rare genetic disease. And we're raising money for his treatment. We have people from all over the United States who have sent us bracelets that they handmade. So we're going to be doing bracelets like crazy for the next... Giving them out to everyone. Yes, absolutely. That's awesome. Are you a big Taylor Swift? fan i can't say i am i'm here for the money <laughs> i can't say i am if he has good music i'll tell you that yeah you got a favorite song that, that that one that just say that they always play everywhere that trouble you know what i'm talking about uh 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 that's not the name of the song but that that's she says that a lot in the song trouble Oh, trouble. trouble. I think yeah i think it's just called trouble right yeah, think... so do you usually come here to all the events that they have at sofi almost every event yeah Almost every event. How, how big is this event compared to like just the NFL game or other concerts? This is bigger. It's bigger for sure. So doors open in about two hours and look at how crazy the people are already lining up right now. And there's entrance points all the way around the building. But oh my goodness, this is crazy. Can't wait to see what the line looks like in about two hours. We'll see you there. What brings you here today? My daughter. I've never been to a Taylor Swift concert in my life, so it'll be different. Do you know much about Taylor Swift? I know about her and what she does and some of the other things, but as far as, as, far as her career or anything, not so much. So do you know like any of the songs or? Mean. Okay, okay. I got you when I remember. So when that one comes on, then you'll be, you'll be jumping around or singing to it? Probably not. <laughs> okay, no worries, I'll okay. Let everybody else do the jumping and the singing. I'll just enjoy. All right, there you go, man. I appreciate it. I think one of my favorite things is just how outgoing and how, like, really spirited she is. She has a really big range of songs. Like, you can go from so sad, crying your eyes out, to jumping around, you know? Awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Is that a bracelet? Yeah, would you like any? <laughs> I mean, if, for real? Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll take a bracelet, yeah. I don't have one to give you. Thank you. It's okay. It's and delicate. That's awesome. And then I have... What are you most excited for tonight? Oh, I'm just excited to be singing along with everyone and seeing everyone be so filled with joy and just having fun. What would be your favorite Taylor Swift era? Well, I think uh, I'm kind of a Swimo, a Swifty emo, so folklore really speaks to my heart. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm with you right there, okay. I think to me, a real Swifty is just someone who's truly invested in the artistry and creativity that this woman has to do all of this. It's incredible. Anyone who I guess is like, just loves Taylor Swift and is clearly obsessed with her, like all of these people are. Do you think she's gonna say anything about 1989 tonight? I would kind of be shocked if she did it at this point. I mean, it's 8-9. Eight, like, it's 8-9. Eight, if she doesn't, I'm going to cry. If she does, I'm going to cry. Yeah. Your guys' outfits are really cool, and everyone here is kind of making me feel like I'm, I'm like sticking out. Like, should I change? or? Like the pink cowboy hats. I think you should do that. So I need something pink then. Like something pink. pink. All right, so, so far I've learned a lot. One of those things is I have no drip. Apparently, outfits are a big deal, and I do not have one. I've been getting free merch just from walking around. People here are so nice, but I do need to change, so. The lyrics are running through my mind, through my head, through my veins. What got you here? How long have you guys been planning to come here? March, April. Uh, yeah, because we're we're not from LA, we're not from the states, we're from Sweden, so we had to like plan out this trip for like months in order 
in order to even get here. You guys came out here for this from Sweden. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, at that point, uh, we didn't know if she was going to come to Sweden or not. As we decided, yeah, we're just going to come here instead. So we've been looking forward to this for months. I think what I like about her the most, besides having amazing music, is that she always seems like super nice to everyone whether that's fans or other celebrities. If you think back to, to your Swiftyism, and is was there one moment that, that turned you from being like a casual, like, oh, you know, I like her music, whatever, to being like, I really, really love this girl. When she sang Mean on stage, I think it was at the Grammys, and just showed it to all the haters. When Kanye took the mic from her, okay. and she completely just let him have the moment, and let him just be Kanye, and he, and she just, let it go and she was just amazing. Just like let it go. It was awesome. I wish we'd be like that. Would that would that make a reputation your favorite like era and all that? Yeah, I think so, for sure. Yeah. I think also the reputation era. I don't know what it was about it, but just the fact that she came she back. She's so from, unbothered. Yeah. Like she was so unbothered by it. It was awesome. And your earrings are perfect. For oh that. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was her speak now era. The the original version and I was crushing on this guy in high school and we had a beautiful moment and it was when I really understood what she was talking about and what she meant and that's what really made me understand like this is a woman who gets women. So you connected with the song? Yeah, and just made I you... connected with the song and it made me connect with her and I guess her brand. And then so since then you've just been... And since then I feel like she's never, I've never stopped being able to relate to her. So we have one more hour left and look at how long this line is. This thing is absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm just like a little ant on a little anthill right now. This is crazy. Out of all the concerts and festivals I've been to, this has probably got to be one of the craziest amount of people. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like an eighth of LA is here right now. I mean, we're just walking, the line isn't ending. I feel like I'm in a fever dream right now. I don't even know what's going on. Mike, Mike, what's going on? This is the line just to one of the gates. So this is this line times 10, I think. Jeez, oh my gosh. I think actually, I think there's like 15 gates, so. Jeez, all those people. Yeah, we got. A couple hundred people back there. One thing about Taylor Swift I really like is how much she's able to capture all these different age ranges. If you go to like a rap concert, guarantee most people are gonna be super young. But Taylor Swift, we got we got we got this one lady earlier. She was holding Swifty 60s, bro. She's in her 60s and she's going to Taylor Swift concerts. That's that's nuts. <laughs> and everyone's so friendly here. Everyone's just giving their, each other bracelets. I, it's, everyone's just so friendly. And it's if you go to any other concert, you're not gonna get that. I feel like so. No, nah, definitely not. Truth, fourteen dollars. Let's see, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> At Dorothy House, it's been a few days since the concert. Great time, great show, it was incredible. I have seen her a couple times, but Caleb, as someone who's never seen Taylor Swift before, who knew nothing about her, what did you think of the concert? I, mean, I thought the concert was crazy, honestly. I've never seen something like that. I've been to a lot of concerts before, but nothing like that. That was really a show. It was really, really done well. I mean, the energy was crazy. The people were crazy. I've never seen that many people in one place, first off. And second off, my ears weren't even hurting from the music. It was hurting from the people screaming. It was crazy. Uh, I learned a lot about marketing and branding and just how important it is for an artist. 
So going to Taylor Swift's concert, out of all the concerts and events I've been to, that was the very first time where I saw that wide of a variety for an audience, from young people to older people. She was just able to captivate this whole audience and people were even able to describe her branding in one word, which just goes to show you how deep rooted Taylor Swift and some of her fans. What's your favorite Taylor Swift song? Let us know down below.